Hey guys, welcome to the Geedunk. I'm Josh. I'm Billy. And I'm Ashley. And it's another week on Survivor. And I guess we need to correct the, the record a little bit from last week. As Kevin pointed out from Screen Kings, uh, we yeah. were wondering why Xander wasn't mentioned. And he wasn't mentioned because he was safe because he was on the team that couldn't get nominated. Yeah, because so. we were all just a bunch of idiots. And we, <laughs> yeah. we, mentioned, we mentioned that in the beginning. And then like at the end, we're like, oh yeah, why wasn't Xander I don't know why the three of us watching yeah. the show... Then talking about the show before filming yeah. this, and then while filming it, none of us thought to think of that. Yeah. But. Now, before we get into the show, just wanted to say uh, happy birthday to all of our Devil Dog brothers and sisters. Hoorah. Yeah. Yeah. Simplify. Simplify. And happy Veterans Day to all of our uh, brothers brothers in arms and our sisters in arms. Uh, you know, it's, another, it's a good uh, good Veterans Day here to do a filming of this show. And uh, hey, and what also we're doing in commemoration of this show is we're having our nice grilled cheese. And if you've seen this episode, you'll know why. It's always good for grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. Ricard knows. Ricard knows, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guess who made the grilled cheese? I did. No. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, the show starts off, and everyone's trying to, like, kind of schmooze over the larger group, mm -hmm. especially uh, Evie, Xander, and uh, Tiffany, since oh, they're they kind of on fracture. the house. Any little opportunity I can get to make people want to work with me, that's gold. I feel like a very much like free agent, you know? They're just yeah. like, you know, they're a solid like group at Tribe and they pull off this like big thing and then all of a sudden they come back and they're like, yeah, I have no loyalty. Yeah, and there's crap nope, all over each other. Yeah. <laughs> There's like, well, cause, I am well, a free well, agent. Well, because people at the last uh, travel were throwing them under the bus too, right? I mean, Deshaun threw Evie under the bus, yeah. you know, when it came to her allegiance to Xander, so. Yep. Yeah, so they're they're trying to like win over Deshaun essentially, and they're they're like, hey, I'm still available. Use me as you need me, you know. Mm -hmm. I'll Except vote whoever you want me to. Targeted Deshaun. So right, Deshaun's right. sitting there like, yeah, he's no? like, He's like, <laughs> every one of them like threw my name out there. So why on earth would I team up with any of these guys? Yeah. The three Yasas come to me after having voted for me and then telling me they want to work with me in some capacity. No. You're yeah, so he's robbers. not really buying it. He's trying to stick to the plan of, of getting rid of the same folks from mm -hmm. last yeah. week, essentially. At least at this point. Yeah, and then you see um, Leona, like, kind of scramble to talk to Xander right after mm -hmm. as well. Like, Actually, I think that was that. Which is kind of odd because uh, Xander... <laughs> they always jump ahead. <laughs> hey, hey, Xander, right. like, really uh, tricked her last week, so yeah. it's kind of interesting that they're yeah. getting a little bit close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, especially... You know, when she even mentioned it. She's like, you know, up until now, Xander was one of the guys I was really wanting to get rid of, and he was. I mean, she said his name a million times. And she's like, but now I'm kind of trying to work with him here. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of interesting. Then they move on to the food challenge, which is, of course, over the, the winners get some grilled cheese sandwiches. Yes, they so do. So they mm -hmm. randomly get split into two groups. Yeah, they do the rock. And how the do they do again. that is the rock, rock draw. Mm -hmm. So there's a, what color? It was blue and, I can't remember the blue other Blue and yellow. Blue yeah. and yellow. And then, of course, there's one gray rock, and that person sits out. Now, what they don't know, but what we got to see before that is the bench that they sit on Jeff hid an advantage. Mm -hmm. So if they're smart and they look around at the bench or accidentally stumble upon it, they get an advantage for st sitting out. But, of course, nobody knows that at this point. So who gets the rock? Erica. Poor Erica. Again. Yeah, Erica, <laughs> who, who drew the gray rock last, last week, week, draws it again. Yep. So she's supposed to sit out here. That's so right. I think gray's her color. Yeah. It might be. It but, then, but then guess what happens? We get a little chivalry going on. Hold on, Jeff. Uh, Erica's already had her chance to draw the uh, gray rock and... Oh, Lord, you do not need to do... Uh, you know, old Xander's like, hey, you know what, man? Uh, I feel bad for Erica here, Jeff. You know, she was out last week, and I, I don't think she, that should happen to her again, so I'll take her place. And Erica's like, oh, you don't have to do that, now, Xander. Now, do you yeah. think Xander's just being a nice guy, or is this part of gamesmanship? I think, I think, it's, think it's games. Both. I, I think, think it's a little bit both. It is a little bit of both, right. but you do see him throughout the competition looking around that bench. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. he definitely suspected there was a possibility of something oh, yeah. being yeah. He looks like he's doing the, I don't want to be seen as I'm looking for something right. kind of bit. So mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like he's examining the bench no. too well, but, bright. And one of right. the funny thing is, as he's looking at the bench, he's looking everywhere but directly underneath where the advantage is at. You know, it's like, dude, come on now. So you want to describe the competition? Yeah, that's pretty cool. They, uh, they got to jump off uh, this uh, platform into the water, right? And they got to swim and unlock these portions of, uh, they're like, they're buoys, but they're part of a puzzle. And they've got to get these buoys to the far platform. And then once every person's in the water and all the buoys are unlocked and the far platform, they got to pick one person to put the pu buoy puzzle together. 
So pretty, it was pretty straightforward. Pretty yeah, simple. Yeah, it's pretty t- similar know. to everything else. A yeah. water thing where you got to collect, release the, the thing, and put together oh, yeah. a puzzle. Them jumping to the water was pretty. That was classic. Like yeah. some of these people are jumping in. Like I think Evie landed. I don't know if it was Evie. She landed in on like all fours, and I'm like, that was a. I tell you, Tiffany weird. like uh, dove head first, yeah. and it's yeah. a decent sized platform. Yeah, so that's pretty impressive like, for her. Backwards, yeah. like that almost like <laughs> she almost landed. She on went for it though. So yeah, that was kind of fun. Yep, so uh, you got two teams going at it. Uh, well, and then one of the crazy things is, too, the way this rock draw goes, again, you've got Deshaun, Danny on the same team. They've been on the same Very team. Very similar like, teams than last time. Yeah, so. same, yeah, same mm-hmm. team as last time, pretty much. And like he's like, they just keep getting lucky as heck and keep getting on the same team. Yeah. You know, and when that happens, it's like, okay, well, you know who's going to win because it's not. And then, of course, Ricard was on that team as well. She had all the guys on that team. Yeah, and, and granted, this one wasn't really a strength competition or anything. So this one, I think, they all, the, they the puzzle got, probably yeah. came down yeah, to it. Yeah, I think they and got right. to the puzzle. crushed the puzzle. Yeah, they oh, yeah, got yeah. to the puzzle fairly around the same time. They're, like, mm-hmm. no one had a clear advantage on that and, until and it came to the puzzle. Evie right. made it pretty clear that she's practiced one like this, so she's like, I know exactly what I was doing. Yeah, right, and exactly. that thing was done. Like, Jeff didn't even, he was yeah. like, oh, wait, wait. Are, <laughs> it's I'm, over. I'm supposed to be calling. We're done? Like, I haven't even started. It, like, it looked like she guy. played this exact scenario before and was like, nope, put this one yeah. here, this one, this one, done. Got it, yep. Now, here's the thing, though, is I don't know that I would have advertised because that that later on in the discussion is like she's a super fan. She's watched this. She's practiced these competitions. She knows the competitions. She knows the puzzles kind of yeah. like. Well, at, at, at the end of the day, though, at this point, I mean, her name's already been out there so many times. That she knows yeah. it has. What's it going to hurt for her to, you well, know. Well, because at this point in time, all you need is some uh, heat to go on somebody else. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you've seen it. Like, the heat can be on her. Yeah, but the thing and is. And then it can be off. Like, Xander had heat on him for the longest time. and. Nobody really has heat on him right now. Yeah. At this point. Well, so, ish. I mean, at that point in time, you know. So, right. I mean, like, you need to, like, just don't, just stay under the radar and get the heat on somebody else for a little bit. Yeah. You know? So, Evie wins it. I think that's the blue team that has blue Danny, Deshaun, Ricard, Ricard Evie and somebody else. And them on it. So, yeah. they get... Their little feast, which yeah. is... Yeah, they go back they and they the eat grilled their cheese. grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah, and and chips. potato chips. Yeah. And mm-hmm. some then they, like had like a, they had like a beer or it was like beer, yeah, pizza or something. Man. Yeah. So Nasir, being Nasir, is on the loser team. You know, first of all, let's talk about... So they're all going back. You've got Xander, Leona. Well, first of all, these people are like heartbroken. That's what they're I'm not saying. getting the food. Xander, Leona, and um, Shan are all... Ba- they're all three crying. Like, all yeah, three of balling. them are crying. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, Well, Xander's, wow. and Xander's crying, like, out of uh, just, like, tears of, uh, like, oh, they're crying. Somebody crying. Or what? Right. Exactly. Five minutes. You like it? It just stays like... Are you guys okay? Yeah. He's like, they're I'm all, joining like, on this crying. I'm so sad that you're so sad. Yeah, we're <laughs> starving. And the series, like, um, you, they sit, they don't even show him around there. And he, then they finally show him out in the and, wilderness. And right. he's just like, uh, yeah, we like, need to uh, eat. So I'm, I'm going to go cry. find food. Do right. something about this. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. He, he ain't the type to sit around and and, 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 and sulk. You know, he's the type of like, hey, man, we need something to eat. I'm going to some. So he goes yep. and gets papaya. And he brings back a bunch of papaya. Yeah. And so they're all sitting there eating papaya and grateful that he brought this papaya back. Mm-hmm. Then the group that finished their grilled cheese sandwich, you know, they come back over. Ricard's like, what, what do you got going over here? Oh, you got some papaya. And then Nasir got, this, Nasir got us some papaya, and he's like, oh. He's like, well, let me just taste <laughs> a little bit. So he took, I mean, a tiny I piece. I love these, yeah. A tiny piece. But to Shan, to Shan, that might as well be a whole papaya. <laughs> yeah. Shan loses her mind. She's like, seriously? Like, the dude just ate some grilled cheese, and now he's coming to take our papaya. Your belly is full. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she was a little you mad. got grilled cheese and chips, Ricard. I don't know what the heck you're thinking, stealing my papaya. We have not eaten, and I don't care if it's a freaking piece of the inch of the, like a centimeter, millimeter of the papaya. Don't touch it. But I did, and you know, and I can see both sides of it because I did like his point later on when he's talking to the cameraman, you know, and he's talking mm-hmm. and he's saying, you know, something you don't realize as a fan watching it at home, but now that he's playing the game, is that when you win, win these rewards and you go off and you have your feast or your special food, the, the losers expect you to not ever eat again. <laughs> like, you got food, you right. don't eat anymore, yeah. like ever. <laughs> right. 
So, I mean, granted, it was direct on a direct walk back from the food. Hey, he so, like, burn a couple maybe. calories walking back. You know, he's like, hey, I thought it shit. was in poor taste. He's like, what you got going on yeah. here? That looks pretty good. <laughs> like, I mean, he could have there. asked a little more and been like, hey, I just want to taste it. Is it all right if I taste it? Like, you know, getting permission. He's just literally just going to Oh, yeah. Man, shame, shame well, well clearly that the group that lost was pretty bitter about it. Oh, yeah. Well, well, well <laughs> so, and really, well, it really was more shame than anything, man. Like, yeah. She was making a huge old thing about it. Everybody, can you believe Ricard just did that? And then I'll the camera she's like you know he's my number one but but he's like coming over still in my bite i don't know how i feel about that now so then he goes and sits down and someone's and they're like what do they have over there and he's like it's papaya he's like yeah i i, I tried some i got in trouble right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't want to try it right, stay away <laughs> it's not it. worth it <laughs> yeah and then they they have another challenge this one is the immunity challenge and it's an mm-hmm. endurance competition and i kind of enjoy the endurance ones on these shows yeah. well typically yeah, but <laughs> yeah normally they'll last for a pretty long time this one not so much but again we bring in the gambling part of it mm-hmm. yep because here yep. comes jeff with his nice little offer you all right there yeah just getting so choked up by it comes in with his <laughs> offer he's got two tables and he's got this one big giant table with this big tablecloth, and he reveals it, and it's a little jar of rice. And it's one little jar of rice, and he says, okay, if one of you thinks you're safe enough, you can take this rice and not play in this immunity challenge. Like, nobody's really going for it. But it's only one serving of rice, mm-hmm. so it would just be for that. Or you have this other table where you have a bag of rice that feeds the, the entire tribe for three days. But he wants... Multiple people to step Well, he initially forward. said seven. No, no. He well, said no, multiple yeah, first. He said multiple, he said multiple first, but... And then right. everybody else... It was Shan's like, like you... how about two? Yeah. Well, Shan's like, what do you mean by multiple? multiple. And he's like, well, make me an offer. I think it was like, Heather actually that that asked the first, multiple. Yeah, somebody did. Yeah. yeah. And then... Um, so, he's like, he starts with seven. And everybody's like, oh, no. I'm like, right. no. <laughs> And then... Well, and then Shannon immediately jumps to five and is like, what are you thinking, dude? You, this is a negotiation. Liked, you say three next, and then he comes down. Then you say four. You know. What I really loved was Shan saying, I'll give you five. She said, right. I'll, I'll give you right, five. Right. I'm like, you, 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 you and you. You speak right. for <laughs> who here? Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and he said, deal. So then I was like, okay. And now, mm-hmm. who are the five, Shan? Right. <laughs> so Shan does offer to be the... Yeah, I mean, she steps up. She, not you know, she, to, yeah, she's not trying to like skirt that, but... Like, at first, she's just there by herself. And then, I don't know, the order Nasir. of who stepped up. And I know no, Nasir is one of them who's kind of like, I will do it mm-hmm. if, if we get the full thing. Right. And then, yeah, it was just her and Nasir, right? And then nobody else is stepping there. Everybody's like, come on, and, somebody And step. someone was looking at Ricard and, at one point. He's like, like, I don't know. And then finally, Xander says, well, hey, tell you what, Jeff. He's like, uh, how about four? If me and somebody else step out, will you take four? And Jeff's like, yeah, four work. Deal. Jeff, what about four? one more person steps up, I'll step up in the fourth place. You got a deal. And so Xander is able to talk, you know, saying, all right, guys, I'm stepping out here. Somebody else step with me. And then uh, finally somebody did step out, right? So I think Nasir is the last one to step out, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Now, now what I'm do you think about no. Xander doing this again? No, it was where, Ricard was the fourth. Yeah, Ricard was oh, the fourth. Oh, you're right. One. It was Now, Ricard. what do you think about Xander doing this? Like, this is the second time in the same episode that he kind of yeah. gives up the potential... For a reward. Right. And he's, well, and he even said, you know, like, look, I'm just trying to, you know, make alliances here, make people like me so I can kind of get my name off the off the chopping block here. I don't know if and this it, it, strategy smart, normally but, works a lot, though. Well, you know? I, well, obviously it didn't because after this, <laughs> yeah, after this episode, people were mentioning his name left and right still. And I'm like, what yeah. the heck? And then as soon as the competition starts, this is the one where they have to stand on their tippy toes and have a block on their head and prevent the block from going off. And they can't use their hands to, mm-hmm. like, touch the frame that they're standing on. And, like, as soon as Jeff horrible. says go, horrible. two people drop, drop off immediately. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he finished the word go before <laughs> yeah. they dropped off. Oh, yeah. And then not too long from that, two other people dropped, yeah. mm-hmm. which I think was Tiffany and it may have been Danny. Danny was Tiffany part of that Danny, group. Yeah. Yeah. So four people like within seconds. Right, and then you have two out. left. Well, and Jeff is sitting there saying that, you know, in seasons past they've played this and the longest the, anyone's held out was like an hour and 22 minutes. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you expect a long competition. Yep. This, I mean, you know, an hour and 22 seems really long for this. Because oh, yeah, you're on your tippy yeah. toes. Right. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. So, man. Whoever that was, man, was, man, they got some damn strong And cats, people too, are so. almost shaking immediately yeah. From, oh, yeah. from the get-go. So. Right. So, so, then, so then you're down to to uh, Evie and uh, and Heather, right? So, mm-hmm. and yeah, man, and I'm surprised Heather held out. 
don't, but you like you liked Heather's well, strategy. I, I, yeah, I like Heather's strategy. Because well, you know what? Actually, Danny didn't drop out immediately because we thought yeah. he, he might hold on. Group. And yeah. then, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I liked Heather's strategy because she had her legs right on the edges of the boundaries. So it's like, okay, she's giving herself a little bit more of a, you know, a little bit better of a sturdy base there for it. Yeah. Whereas, whereas Evie had her legs closer together. And I'm like, oh, that's not good. And you can see her legs shaking, but... Hey, Heather, even though she had the good base going and everything, ended up dropping well, a block. Well, you see and a fly everyone. go, like, right onto oh, her face, face yeah, yeah. and yeah, then the she's fly. like. Yeah, you got to have discipline on that because, oh, yeah. like, the littlest thing will, will make uh -huh. you slip I don't up. know that the fly I don't think so, did but, make her, but, but like, it was, it was probably it enough out. to break her concentration yeah. to then, like. So, yeah, so surprisingly, Evie won, and, and unfortunately so because. Evie killed it this week. That's two wins. The bench, the crowd on the bench they're watching was like, oh, Evie. Yeah. Because before <laughs> this, they were talking about getting rid of Evie, mm -hmm. and she wins, so that plan is obviously out the window now. Oh, yeah. So now who are you going for? Well, That's the good yeah. question. They go back to camp, <laughs> oh, yeah. and now they're like, what's the deal? Mm -hmm. And the conversation centers around Tiffany, mm -hmm. but they want uh, Xander to use his idol somehow. So they want to kind of split it between Xander and Tiffany. To flush out Xander's idol, so right. they're kind of split the vote, but kind but of then, but pressures. then Nasir's name gets thrown out yeah. there. Then, then they tell Xander like we're thinking about Nasir, because and he's they like, gotta okay, tell Xander somebody, mm -hmm. somebody else. They're like, you know, Nasir. So then Shan goes to tell Nasir, like, hey, just to let you know, we, we told Xander to vote Nasir. And he's like, no, 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 no. Don't take my name. No, no, like, take, oh, it back. no. take it back. Take it back right now. <laughs> well, before that, before that though, when they were mentioning Nasir. Shan and and, uh, and Deshaun got into it because because Deshaun was like, yeah, we want I want Nasir, mm -hmm. and some other people were like, yeah, Nasir's a good idea, and then Shan's like, no, no, we're no. not doing Nasir. Xander's a bigger yeah, threat. Yeah, they actually we wanted Nasir gone. Yeah, they wanted Nasir gone, and then and yeah. Shan was the one fighting them on it, and Deshaun's like, look, dude, this ain't your freaking team here. You know, you ain't the ruler, and I'm kind of getting that mad that you're telling me what mm -hmm. to do here. And she's like, well, I'm not telling you what to do. He's like, well, that's what it feels like. So you know, so you can already see, and he's like, and then and then it showed Deshaun talking like, look, if she keeps Chris crap up, we might have to vote her out at some point. Yeah. So. I was quite pissed at Shan because we even utter Nasir's name and you shut it down. That's not going to work for me, Miss Ma'am. Like, you need to listen to what I have to say. I mean, she's yeah. so, so, Sh so Shan is definitely making some tension. And, and, and I, trying to be the and boss. I don't really like Shan too much. And, no, I and I'm more no. for Deshaun than her. But I mm -hmm. think she does have a better point because Nasir thinks he's with that group so yeah. they can manipulate she him. She does a have bit. a better point. Yeah. However, she comes across as yeah. Bossy that's the delivery and, and, and the it, communication yeah. is what the issue. But is. she right. did. She did. Now I do think it was just to placate him. But she did say, "I want you to be heard." You know, they they had a very oh, casual, totally calm, him. calm conversation about it, and and I think he does know that, right? Because again, it happened well, again well, later. Yeah, because then, yeah, because then when it went to the funny thing is, then when it went to her talking by herself there, she was like, you know. You know, as a pastor, I've got to do this kind of stuff. And, you know, people are coming to me left and right with ideas for the church and all that. But at the end of the day, I've got to convince them that my idea is the best idea. And I'm like, mm. I'm sure your congregation is going to love hearing that when they watch this. <laughs> you know, you, know that you yeah. manipulate them all. It's like, that's awesome. And then like, the since Nasir has an issue with it, they change it to Heather. Mm -hmm. And then they tell Xander, like, hey, it's not Nasir anymore. It's Heather. And then... Uh, the first names that I hear are Nasir and Tiffany. And now that it's Heather, it's... Put my, uh, you know, my betrayedar on. Xander's like, uh, my betrayedar starts betray going on. So. Oh, I love that. <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Yeah, because he's like, first you're telling me Tiff, now you're telling me this mm -hmm. now you're telling me Heather. It's like, um, yeah. So I think it's well, me. It, <laughs> right. it must yeah. be me. Well, then the whole time, Liana, like right off the bat, is wanting Xander to use his, and she's telling people, hey, we need to make Xander use his idol. Yeah. You know, so like Ricard and Liana are on the same page with that about Xander using the idol. Yeah. So, you know, and Xander's kind of like, eh, what's going on here? You know, but I know it ain't, it ain't, didn't smell right. So just like every other tribal we've watched, we really have no idea how this is playing oh, out yeah. as they're walking to the tribal. Yeah, because uh, so many names have been thrown out there yeah. at this mm -hmm. point, so. And, and you find out at tribal, like in the conversations, it doesn't, it seems very kind of benign at first. Like nobody's really like waiting or they keep, they say that they're waiting for someone to say that one thing to make you know, all the side conversations happen and the drama happen and nobody's really saying anything. It's a it's pretty right. uneventful huh. tribal council yeah. initially. And right. like Danny kind of lays it out. Like, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. Like, here's the group situation and what's going on. Here. And right. then I did like Evie right, well, pointing out, like, because he asked Evie what she was thinking. He's, she's like, not one person has told me who, I have yeah. no idea who we're yeah. all supposed to vote well, for because she doesn't really matter at that point. Right. When well, Danny was kind of crapping on Xander too. And if I was Xander at that point, I'd be like, Oh yeah, Danny, how'd you like that rice that you just ate that I stepped out of line and make sure you could get it. If I, you know, if I, I'd, I'd have said that flat out, said that if I was Xander, but he didn't take the opportunity and to do that. Danny's probably like, I could have done without the rice. You just noticed Cause I just had grilled cheese. Cause I, I had grilled cheese. <laughs> 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 That's true. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. So it's all very, very calm and very nobody's like really throwing anybody under the bus. No one's really talking about the plan or and what then, the plan is. And then is. Jeff's like, all right, time to vote. And then Heather's like, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> uh, she starts whispering the Tiffany. to Tiffany and then... Just, just like, like wait a I, second. I, I kind of said to kind of slow, like, right. yeah, I thought we were good. Yeah. It is time to vote. Ricard, you're up. Oh, what, we don't Hang to talk. Talk. <laughs> Oh, I thought we could talk. What, we and she's <laughs> like, what, are we not allowed to talk? He's like, no, no, feel free to <laughs> By talk. By all means. And then they stand up and talk, and then everybody else stands up and talks, and then all of a sudden it's chaos. Yep. And, then, and, then, and then her idea was telling everybody in the series, okay, let's vote in the series. And what's series. funny is I don't so. know what her... I, I am interested to find out if we find out in the conversations like what next she was week. thinking because she's when she's with she's like I'm trying I just want to try something just just listen to me you're willing to vote this year like it's not like she was really even trying to flip the vote I think I think what she was concerned of because she heard she knew her name was being put out there that if Xander were to play his idol that the if there was one vote for her right, that she could potentially then be out. she could be the one to go if if Xander voted for Heather and somehow there were idols played it for whatever if there was just one vote she would end up going home yeah. so she was just trying to like cause chaos so that there were other votes going out out there and she did Maybe. and then uh Ricard like whispers to Xander like play your idol yeah right he said it like twice yeah. during that no thing. no like four yeah. times it's just kind of like this hey play your idol hell right. mary play your like idol. play your idol <laughs> I don't know why but just do it Xander just like. <laughs> He's like, huh? Why would I do that? Right, right. He's sitting there like, do I play my, yeah, you play you my play idol? idol. <laughs> yeah, and things. all the side conversations that Xander's being included in mm -hmm. is Heather's trying to get get everybody to vote Nasir. You know what? Now I think we should vote Heather. Let's vote Heather. Right, Heather right. Nasir. Heather Nasir. Heather Nasir. Right at this um, point, Xander, why play your idol? Yeah, exactly. Why not play his idol? Why not play my idol whenever somebody vote Heather? Right. Now, you know? yeah. so. And the other thing that happens during this is Shan and Deshaun get into it again. Oh, yeah. Yep. Because mm -hmm. at one point they're discussing what the plan is, and then Deshaun's like, "All right, that's the plan." And he sits down. And he says, "I'm done talking about it. Let's just do it." And then Shan's like, "Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got to, We got to discuss this." And remember, you said, "You know, everyone is important. They need to be, to be heard. heard." So that's what we're doing here. Right. And he's like, "Dude, I agreed with you. Let's get to it." You know. And she was like, "No, no, no." At first, no, no. he's like, "I don't like it. I don't want the plan, but I said I'd do it. We'll talk about it later. I'll do right. it. I'll do it. I don't like it, but I'll do it." We don't do nothing unless we hear each other out. I'm telling you, I don't want to do that. And again, I'm feeling like I'm getting told what to do. Okay. Yeah. All right. So come I to. Just told you okay. Boom. So then come to the circle. She's like, well, no. He's like, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure. I don't want to have to baby. And he's you. like, yeah, if yeah. I don't want to baby you. And he's like, oh, don't baby, baby me. me. Yeah, yeah, he, he yeah, did not he didn't me. like that. <laughs> oh yeah, right I, I, I can see <laughs> him pushing her name next week for sure. After all this. There goes that one. Well, who knows? Fine. You know. Uh -huh. hmm. I hope he At does. the end of the day, it's self-preservation, though. So they might be like, hey, right. it behooves me to work with these people still. So, mm -hmm. And they do tease a little bit about there could be a greater rift. But we will see. Yeah. yeah. yeah so we'll anyways, see. it comes time to voting. And then... And again, we still have no idea what people yeah, are going to do. And Xander's name gets thrown out there twice. Tiffany's name's thrown out there twice. And then uh, Nasir's Nasir. thrown out there. And, and then and, Heather. Yeah. So it's like... It's kind of all over the place. Yeah. Yep. Initially, yeah, and then it goes downhill pretty quick for one person. So. <laughs> yeah. Person voted out, and the first member of our jury, Tiffany. That's five. That's enough. Need to bring me your torch. Oh, Tiffany. Yeah, and then oh, the rest of those come in. Had a Tiffany, to Tiffany, Tiffany. Team Tiff shirt mm -hmm. yet? Uh, I would have never worn that. Shirt. And yeah. Tiffany's stock was going up for me. I was actually I finally yeah. starting to yeah. enjoy her, and oh, then yeah. she gets the boot. What's funny at the beginning of this episode, Heather stock was going up for me, but hmm. this whole tribal thing. I, I, I liked it, like, but until like, I, know I thought she what should. I just don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. until mm -hmm. I know what her motivation was behind it. Right. I need to hear her explanation as to why she did it. Um, it may have been one of the best moves. It could have been the worst move. I don't know. Right. I don't well, know if I it mean, influenced anything. At the I don't end think it did either. And when the oh. funny thing is, when it showed the voting at the end, it showed that she voted for Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what makes me think that she right. was just trying to stir up to make sure that she didn't. It wasn't her. That there were enough other names put out there. Right. That it wasn't down to, oh, shit, I am just happened to be the other name put out there. Right. But now the one vote for Nasir, that uh, I bet Nasir's thinking it was Heather, so now he's going to be probably targeting her. <laughs> and you know, Nasir you know, is her. a pretty genuine guy, takes mm -hmm. things like to heart, so that might cause issues down mm -hmm. the line yeah. between Heather and Nasir. I don't uh, know. I think it will, especially since there was one vote, so Nasir's automatically thinking, oh, that must have been Heather. Heather must have <laughs> voted when, when it wasn't her. Right. It wasn't. I don't know yeah. who, who voted for him. I don't know if it showed. But it was weird that she was yeah. pushing it and people were like talking about it and then only one person votes for him. So. Yeah. yeah, it was weird. 
I don't know, but Tiffany gets the boot. Tiffany goes bye bye, and Shan's stock with me as much as already dropped is completely rock bottom now. Like Shan, I'm ready to see her go. So, like, I realize that Tiffany's gone now, but who's who's better, Tiffany or Shan? Probably mind. Tiffany now at this point. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah Shan is just Shan is wow. way too bossy. If I remember, like and, t- yeah. Tiffany was a horrible human being. <laughs> yeah, <she was. laughs> yeah. But now Shan. Yeah, now Shan. Shan is especially especially for a pastor, and then she's flat out telling everybody that she manipulates her congregation and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? Like, no, nah, you gotta go, well, girl. But like, you it's, gotta go. It's guidance, not you gotta, manipulation. No, no, no. She flat out said, <laughs> "She flat out said, I've got to convince them that my way is the right way." That's manipulation. So, I don't know. Anyway, but what, what about go. Ricard? What are your thoughts about him? Because you've been down right, right past, now. So. Ricard's kind of he's kind of playing a little low key now, right? He's not being yeah. too too. No, he's not voicing know. too much stuff out right now. So I, I think Ricard's kind of he's got to be a little careful, careful right? I think he's he's, 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 he's on the yeah, outside he, of the main group, but yeah. Yeah. but he's still playing it pretty smart because he's kind of being a little low key now. I think so. Ricard's kind of I think you know, Ricard's playing a really good game. Right yeah, I think now. so. I think he's being smart about it. The papaya was almost a disaster, right. <laughs> but uh, him, him and Shan's relationship. Yeah, is it is very, interesting. They're a little rocky now. Yeah, it's a because they get into it, but at the end of the day, they seem to be on the the same page though. So yeah. Yeah, I uh, but right now I'm. What about Deshaun? What do you, What are your thoughts I like on him? D- his I, I still talk like, went up. Yeah, I still like Deshaun. Even you though know. I don't really get behind his rationale, I, I like. Yeah. He doesn't want to be I bossed like around. And stuff. His right? stock yeah. went up because he he didn't he stood up to Shan like he didn't say, "I'm just gonna like let you manipulate and tell me how to run this." No, he flat out told her like, "But tell me what to do." Yeah. So I, no, I, I like that. Uh, I like uh, you know, like I said, I'm you know, I like Deshaun, but I'm still I'm still Team Xander right now, man. Dude, uh, you know, he's been. I mean. If there's anybody that's been helping people out, it's that guy. You know, I mean, he, whenever they were Team Yellow, man, he was the the muscle behind that team. I mean, they want the the reason they weren't in Team Green spot was because of Xander. Like he kept that team going, winning events, and even now he's like trying to help people out. And granted, you know, it's still gamesmanship too. But I think a lot of it is he's genuinely just a nice dude. Yeah. You know, well, didn't so. you point out like when they were going back and they had the big giant rice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Xander, Xander, yeah, was, yeah, the Xander one was carrying it. it on his shoulder, oh, yeah. like yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. I'm kind of glad uh, Heather kind of caused this controversy because she was just kind of a floater going through mm-hmm. the game. Yeah, you know, like kind of Erica hasn't made big moves. Of course, right. she did the turn back time, but I mean, she didn't really have much of a choice there. Right. Yeah. So I mean, she hasn't made a move that's independent to her. That's big. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, it was kind of nice I to just see need her to, do I something. need to know what her motivation yeah. was behind it. What what did what was what was her goal? And did she, is that it. what she, is that what she reached? Because yeah, I was kind of hoping Xander would play an idol on Tiffany to get like someone needs to do a big move like that. Play an idol on someone that right. that everyone is like. Let's just get rid of like if next week it's Evie, is Xander plays an idol on her? Mm-hmm. You need to get rid of. That group, unless right. they they self implode, which could happen this week. I and don't know. Maybe yeah. he would have done that if he had like a second idol. You know, like maybe another advantage that he could have possibly gotten. Oh right. wait, he could he's, have. He's got the extra vote. But he also could have had another ad- advantage. But oh, he didn't yeah, find yeah, we don't know it. what that was. It, yeah. But yeah, he didn't. Because he didn't find it. it. Yeah. Yeah, we're sitting right underneath him on that bench, and it's gonna be interesting to see if that shows up again next week. I will. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, I think Jeff is a little kind of interesting. Yeah. 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 If Jeff He's constantly like, does this and no one finds it, I wonder like how that's going to work. Right. Oh, is he, I came is up he, with a brilliant idea. Is, no is one's he looking for it. Sit like on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that underneath <laughs> that bench over there? <laughs> like one of you has got to sit out, and then you just walk over and you're just sitting right there for him to pick up. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Well, they've had them like in different in seasons past, like at, at like their rewards where they go somewhere afar to eat. They've been sitting like underneath someone's plate that they just right. they happen to sit at that place setting or like they got in yeah. The there's drink, normally the one at that like yeah. in the food somewhere or yeah. something like that. And someone so, be like, oh. yeah, and sometimes they're able to like like I've seen it in like a Coke bottle or something like that, and they're drinking. They're like, oh, it's kind of interesting because <laughs> you can see some get people out. get very distracted about what's going on instead of thinking bigger picture. Right. Like, wait a minute, I'm on Survivor. I know that they do this kind of right. stuff, so I need to be locked well, in. Well, and the on thing is, Xander was looking around. He just never looked right underneath him. Yeah, you know? so it was like, yeah. dude, what are you? Mm-mm. And you yeah, can tell. You just check out the woodsman shit. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. crash the ship of the wood. I can make this. Yeah, he makes benches. He's like, I can make this thing. I don't know. It needs to be sanded down a little more. He's thinking of a different stain for it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. All right, yeah, no, I, but uh, I mean, overall, I thought it was a pretty good episode. You know, I, I enjoyed it. I uh, definitely looking forward to next week. Uh, I'm hoping Chan is gonna go on the outs there, especially. Yeah, once. I imagine they're still gonna go after Evie, 
And Abby yeah, was probably. kind of annoying in the beginning of this as she was talking to Sean. Mm-hmm. She was really starting to bother me. I mean, but she she played a strong game this week. So yeah, yeah she did. Well, she got lucky. She won immunity. Mm-hmm. Oh, she did. Yeah, she'd been. Yeah, and she, she knows it. She and she knew it. She said it right there. Yeah. It's like I really needed to win this, and I'm glad I did. Yeah, if you don't know what's going on beforehand, that's not a good sign. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, all right, you guys, got anything else you want to add here? No. <laughs> 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 all right well another episode down with some uh some good grilled cheese here you're welcome yeah i, I made it it was good <laughs> no thank you yes i actually did make it but hey hope you guys enjoyed it if you did press like and subscribe and we'll catch you at our next episode we'll see you guys bye-bye and it's another week on survivor and uh i guess we got a uh <laughs> yeah. We, we definitely do, Josh. We, we do definitely do. Ask. Yeah. Mm. It's cute when he messes up. Yeah. We mess oh, it's up. one of the like, Let's go! I'm waiting it's for one, you. It's one of the bloopers. Nah, it's one of the bloopers. It's funny. It's funny. Can't wait for it. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'm doing much better. In case you cared, Bill. Oh, yeah. It's good. You're going to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's saving his half, I mean, sure. Yeah. Cut that. Nah. You can't take it. All right, I'm going to do it then. Do like a little, um, uh, uh, I'm be like, Lady in the Tramp or something. He's going to have a hard time getting through here. <clears throat> as always. Because mm-hmm. she's the last in, as always. Yeah. That's some nice grilled cheese. No. Here. Now I got dogs begging me. And you know how they like to like show up at the yeah, end. Yeah. Oh, no. They're not going to like that. They're going to be jumping on the glass yeah. and they can't see it. So they're going to be barking. I should uh, put my little um, green PT shorts on. Yeah. <laughs> scooch. You got to get in there. There you go. There you go. There you go. Such a gentleman, Billy. That's right. You turn turn off that, please. <laughs> I'm already sitting down now. <laughs> Call me Xander. Fun fact: he's a gentleman, unlike this. No. <laughs> the camera's okay, though. It looks like yeah, it's not broken. I mean, this guy oh. dropped the camera, you know, earlier, and it was cute, funny. <laughs> <I am. laughs>